Hi, I'm Michelle Duval, creator of Bar Variations. I'm very excited to bring you this bar progression workout taught by Nadia Murdoch, Kelsey Greco, Ellie Goodwin, and myself. We all come from different bar backgrounds and we'll be sharing our different bar variations. And we are so excited that you're joining us in this workout. And remember, there's plenty of room at the bar. Hi everybody, my name is Nadia Murdoch, founder of Nadia Murdoch Fit. The type of bar I teach, I like to call it cardio flow. I like to keep the class moving, I like to keep the heart rate going, but at the same time focusing on an entire body toning routine. I'm located here in New Jersey and today we're going to go through a standing bar routine. Hi everybody, I'm going to run you through a standing bar routine. All you need is a bar, a chair if you're doing this at home, and a yoga block. If you don't have a yoga block, you can mimic the actions without the block, um, but the yoga block adds a little bit extra challenge. So we're going to face the bar, and we're going to place the bar behind our legs and hold it, the same way we would hold a ball. We're going to make sure that our hips are square with the bar. We're gonna bring our shoulders back. This move can be done on flat foot as a modification, or if you want to accelerate the, accelerate the move, you can come on toe. Making sure that your knees are aligned, your shoulders are back. You're going to bring your legs out to the side. Okay, so you're going to come out to the side for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold here. We're going to pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to repeat that again for two more sets. Same thing, if you need to regroup, always come down onto flat foot, out of releve, shake your leg out, remove the block if need be, get a good grip on the block again, coming back up, starting position, here we go, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold here, pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last set here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. As you can see, it is tough. And the more you work the legs, the more the legs will fatigue out and the block will drop. Don't fret. It's definitely difficult. If you find that the block is too difficult, simply switch to using So I'm going to turn to the other side so you see the back of me, just so that you can see the complete form. It's also to work the other side of my body. Again, we're doing eight repetitions with eight pulses, three sets. So as I mentioned, I'm turning to the back. We're going to put the block behind that left leg. I'm coming on toe just so you can get a proper view, but you will be facing the bar front facing um, for that second step. But for visual purposes, I'm giving you my back. Here we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold here and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, if it becomes too difficult, lower that heel and here we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. If you feel the block is getting shifted, hold here and let's pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now I'm gonna demonstrate without the block so that you can see that you'll achieve the same benefits of the move without the block. Okay, but I'm gonna come on toe for that since we're removing the difficulty without the block. Here we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold here and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent work. I'm going to show you the side bar move. Shoulders are back, chest is proud. 
We're facing the front of the room. Your hips are at the side of the bar. We're going to come into releve, bringing the soles of the, the heels of the feet glued together, and our shoulders are back as I had mentioned. We're gonna come down and up. When you're coming down and up, the knees go outward and they come back up. So we're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold here, pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Same thing again for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's finish with the last set for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Thank you guys for joining me for my standing bar routine. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll find a way to work this into your regular bar routine. Please make sure you follow me on social media, on Instagram, Nadia Murdoch, on Twitter and Facebook at Nadia Murdoch Fit. I have lots of good things coming up, especially a new season of my podcast. So make sure to check out for updates. You can sign up for my newsletter on NadiaMurdochFit.com. Also, I have my smoothie book in the smoothie book store. I'll be selling bar socks and I have a fit and strong ebook coming out this month. So please let's stay connected. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear them and I'd love to just find more bar babes. Thanks guys. Bye. Hi, my name is Kelsey Grieco and I am from the Denver area. I originally started teaching in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and I am certified in the bar amped method. We're going to get started by being an arm's distance away from the bar. Feet are parallel hips distance. We soften the knees, hinge over at the hips. Neck stays in line with spine. Right leg goes back. We let it float up, square those hips down, zip up the core and close those ribs. We start with little ups here. Up, little up and up. Every little up is a squeeze of the seat. Breathing. Keeping the core tight. Little up and up, up and up. Breathing through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Fingertips are on the bar just to touch. Little up and up, up and up. Breathing. We have eight more, six, we have four, three, two, we're gonna flutter that leg, micro bend in the knee, keeping that core tight, closing the ribs, bend press, bend press. Starting to feel a little bit of that outer seat working on the left side and working that working seat here. Bend press, bend press. Just fluttering that leg, keeping it small and controlled. Bend press, bend press. We have eight more. Six, we have four, three, two. We're gonna take a little circle in and up. In and up, in and up. Breathing. Square those hips down. Keep a neutral spine. In and up, in and up. Breathing. Staying strong. Zipping the core. We have four more. Three, two, we hold that right leg there. We bend through the standing leg and stretch. Bend and stretch. Let those legs shake. Two more. Last one. 
we bend and press. Bend, press that leg up. Bend, press. Breathing. We have four more. Three, two, last one. Hold it here, lift that leg, square those hips, zip the core, hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come out of it. Shake those legs for a moment. Other side, arms distance away, feet are parallel, hips distance. Soften the knees, hinge over at the hips, left leg goes back, let it float up, square those hips down. Start with little ups. Squeezing that seat every little up. Next stays in line with spine, keeping the core closed. Little up and up. Staying strong, letting those legs shake. Shaking to change here. Little up and up. We have eight more. Six. We have four. Three, two. We flutter that leg, bend, press. Micro bend in that knee. Keep that core tight. Neck stays in line with spine. Bend, press. Square those hips, zip that core, soften that standing leg, bend press, bend press. We have eight more, six, we have four, three, two, it's a little in and up, circle, in and up. In and up, in and up, four more. We have three, two, last one. We bend through the standing leg, we bend and press, bend and press. Bend and press. We have two, last one, add that hop. Zip that core. We have four more. Three, two, last one, hold it here. Square those hips, zip that core. Hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Breathing. Deep breath in, exhale out. We come back to that position, arms distance away. Soft bend in the knees, hinge at the hips. Right leg goes back, we let it float up and square those hips down. We're gonna bring the knee in for two and out for two. So we use our whole body here. It's up and up, back and back, up and up, back and back. We have two more. Last one. We take it on a one count. Here we go. It's up and back, up and back. Make sure you're breathing. We have four more. Three, two, last one. Here's a combo. Up, back, little up and flutter. Up and back, little up, flutter. Up and back, little up, flutter. One more. Back to up and back. Up and back. We have four more. Three, two, last one, back and hold. Lift that leg up an inch, squeeze that seat. Hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back down to center, stay here. Soften those knees, hinge at the hips. Left leg goes back this time, let it float up, square those hips down. 
We take it on a two count, up and up, back and back, up and up, back and back. Keep the core tight, zip the ribs. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Let's take it on a one count. We take it up and back. Up and back. Breathing. We have four more. Three. Two. Last one. Here's our combo. We take it up, back, up, and flutter. Up and back. Up and flutter. Up, back, up, flutter, up and back. Little up, flutter, back to one count. Up and back. Six more here. We have four, three, two, last one, back and hold. Soft nut standing legs, square those hips down. Zip the core, hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back down to center, shake out those legs. Take a moment, deep breath in, exhale out. We're going to come down to the floor. Shoulders are right over those elbows. Neck stays in line with spine. Take a deep breath in, exhale out. Right leg is going to go back. We let it float up, square those hips down. We start with little ups here, up and up, up and up, breathing. Eight more. We have four, three, Two, we tap the toe, down and up, down and up, down and up. Four more, and three, two, last one, up and hold it here, flutter. Bend press, bend press, breathing. Zip that core, we have eight more. Six, we have four, Three, two, we're gonna tap the toe to the side, bring it center, then take it across the midline, back to center. Here we go, it's side, center across the midline. Side and midline. Breathing. We have four more. Three, Two more. Last one. Back to center. Hold it here. Hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Left leg goes back. Let it float up. Square those hips down. Start with little ups here. Up and up. Every little up is a squeeze of the seat. Activating here. Eight more. We have four, three, two. We take the toe down and up, down and up. Breathing. Four more. We have three, two. Last one, we flutter that leg, bend press. Micro bend in that knee. Eight more. We have four, three, two. We take that toe out to the side, center, over, center. Across the midline, center, side, center, across the midline. Make sure you're breathing. We have four more. Three. We have two. Last one. We come back to center, hold it here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down, sit back to child's pose. Take a moment here, deep breath in, 
Exhale out. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Thank you guys so much. I'm Kelsey, and I hope you follow me at KEG1118 on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you so much. Hey guys, I'm Ellie Goodwin from Portland, Oregon. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, topknotpdx. Um, I've been teaching group fitness classes for about 15 years. Specifically, I've spent a lot of time teaching Pilates, bar, um, Legree fitness on the mega former and spin class. And I'm gonna take you guys through a little course series today. Um, so the biggest thing as we move through this workout, biggest tool you have for accessing your core is gonna be your breath. So um, today I really want you to think about taking inhales into the rib cage instead of down into the belly. So let's just practice a few breaths and then we're gonna get right into it. So place your hands on your rib cage. Just go ahead and have, take a nice, big, huge, deep inhale into the nose. Fill the ribs with air, feel the ribs expand. As you exhale, blow it out. <sighs> Knit the front of the ribs together and think about coarsening through the waistline. So let's do that again. Start maybe with your fingertips together. Big deep breath in. Try to pull the fingertips apart. Exhale, blow it out. Think about coarsening through the waistline. Do that again. Big, huge deep breath in. Exhale, blow it out. Think about that corset, right? So we're really tapping in with our breath into our transversus abdominis, which is the deepest layer of abdominal muscles that you have, and it wraps around you like a corset. So think about that as we move through the breath. I'll cue you guys to exhale on the exertion and think about coarsening versus sort of like sucking in the belly. You really want to think about actively engaging and squeezing the abs in and around the waistline. Cool. So we're just going to get warmed up in case you're not already. Go ahead and lie down on your mat. Plant your feet hip-width apart parallel. Take your fingertips, interlace them, and place them behind your head. Flare the elbows out wide, and I want you to press the weight of your head heavy into your hands. You're going to take a nice big inhale here. Exhale, contract the abs first, coarsening through the waistline, and then lift the chest up. Inhale, lower down with control. So again, exhale, crunch up. Inhale, lower down with control. The goal is to let your abs do all the work. We're just doing some simple crunches here, right? Just starting to tap into turning on the muscles in our core. Big exhales, you lift every time. Inhale, let your abs lower you down. And again, think about pressing the weight of your head heavy into your hands so that you're really feeling the abs working to lift and lower you. Let's go two more here. Awesome. Lower it down here. Go ahead and extend the arms down beside the hips. And we're really just gonna get things warm with a little 100 series. So the breath's gonna be a little bit different. Quick, sharp breaths. You're gonna inhale here to prepare. Exhale, curl the head, neck, and shoulders up. Spread the fingertips wide, flex the muscles in the arms. See if you can lift the chest just a little bit higher here and really course it through the abs. Also think about almost like there's a big weight setting right on top of your abdomen, anchoring your abs down. And just begin to pump the arms. We're gonna inhale two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. So quick, short breath keeping the abs contracted the whole time. So in, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four. Strong arms, of course, stays engaged the whole time. So you're welcome to stay right here for a little bit more intensity. Keep the abs the same, lift one knee at a time, bringing them up to tabletop, right? Zip the inner thighs together. They'll get you a little deeper squeeze through the abs. And if you want even more, both legs are gonna extend up towards the ceiling. And for just a little bit more here, you can extend those legs out at a 45 degree angle. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold the tension in your core. See if you can lift your chest one more inch here. Breathe in. The more forceful the breath is, the deeper the contraction is going to be in your abs. Let's go two more rounds here. So in, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. One more. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Four. Lower down, hug the knees into the chest. Rest the head, neck, and shoulders. Beautiful. Plant the feet back flat on the floor to start. Hands down beside the hips. 
Go ahead and roll your shoulders into the mat. And we're gonna do a little bit of flat back work. So the head and neck shoulders take a little break here. Go ahead and take a nice big deep breath in. And as you exhale, you're gonna cement your lower back down into the mat. So inhale here into the ribs. Exhale, think, press the lower back all the way flat to the mat. Sink the belly down towards the side. Hold this really tight tension through the core. Do that one more time. Inhale. Exhale again. Sink down into the mat, flatten the back. So you wanna hold everything here perfectly steady. And then one knee at a time, lift up to tabletop. Right, and you wanna keep the back perfectly flat on the mat. And it's a deep contraction in your abs. You should already feel your core is working right here, right now. From here, you're gonna hold that contraction, nothing else moves. Slide your right toes forward just a touch. Bring it back in. Left toes forward just a touch. Bring it back in. So keep the back totally flat against the mat. If you're not actively squeezing your abs the entire time and pressing your back flat to the floor, you're not really gonna feel this one. Perfect. Let's go one more round nice and slow here. And you wanna keep it small. This doesn't need to be big to be impactful. Perfect, right here, we're just gonna speed up. Little right, left, right, left. You can add in some quick short breaths. Really just focus on keeping the low back cemented. Maybe it started to arch off the mat, press it down, pull the abs in, anchor deeper. Nice and quick here. Right, left, right, left. Give me your best hand. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stay right there. Extend the legs straight towards the ceiling, click the heels together. Toes apart, flex the feet, you're in first position. Keep anchoring the abs down. You're just gonna soften the knees and kick the heels straight towards the ceiling. Inhale to bend, exhale, anchor the abs, heels up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, press. Inhale, press. The closer your legs get towards you, the more you're gonna get a little bit of activation in the quads. But remember the goal is to keep the back flat and the abs are doing the work here. Let's go 10 more. Here's one, two, three. Really press up through the heels. Straight the legs all the way straight. Six, seven. Big exhales. You press the heels up. Eight, nine, and ten. Knees in. Quick little reset. Set the feet down. From here, hands down beside the hips again. Inhale. Exhale. Course it through the waistline, lift the head, neck, and shoulders up from here and extend that right leg up towards the ceiling. And from there, we're gonna just go ahead and pump, curl, hold, curl, hold. So it's gonna be pump, two, three, four, curl, curl. Pump, two, three, four, curl, hold, curl, hold. On that curl, hold, try not to rebound down, but curl higher, stay, curl higher, stay. So eventually at some point, you're not really curling any higher. You're just squeezing deeper into the abs. Pump, two, three, four, curl, hold, curl, hold. Pump, two, three, four, curl, hold, curl, hold. See if you lift that chest right up towards your toes. Let's go one more here. Pump, two, three, four, curl, hold, curl, hold. Now just pump the arm, just the legs are gonna move. So we're gonna take it down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. Take it down, two, three, four, up. Down, two, three, four. Strong straight arms, just like when we did 100 earlier. And really knit the front of the ribs together. Try not to let them flare open. Two more. Down, two, three, four. Lift up. Down, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Both hands reach up towards your toes. Curl. Little curl. Give me 10 here. Here's one, two, three, four. Five, try not to rebound down, just lift higher. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring the arms down the side, set that foot down. Left leg extends up towards the ceiling. Same thing, it's a pump, two, three, four, curl, hold, curl, hold. Pump, two, three, four, curl, hold, curl, hold. Really try to energize your toes, leg is straight up towards the ceiling. And again, focus on trying not to rebound down, right? We curl higher, hold, higher, hold. So eventually at some point, you're not really moving. You're just contracting through the abs at the top of your curl. Curl and curl. Pump, two, three, four, curl, 
curl, pump, two, three, four, curl, curl, let's go, two more, up, two, three, four, curl, curl, last one, hold the pump in the arms, now just the leg, take it down, two, three, four, lift up, down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, Abs are doing a lot of work to stabilize you here. If your neck's getting tired, just go ahead and place one hand behind the head. Yeah? Great option here. Keep the chest nice and high. Let's go. Two more. Take it down. Two, three, four. Lift up. Two, three, four. Last one. This time, lift it up. Hold both arms. Reach up towards the toes and little lift. Little curl. You got 10 here. Here's one, two, three. Try to get a little higher. Hold, sink the navel down towards the spine. Release the tension in the neck and shoulders. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower it down. Hug the knees to the chest down the rock your head side to side. Right, shake out the head, neck, and shoulders, knees side to side. Loosen it up. Perfect. From here, go ahead and plant the feet. Flat on the floor again. This time you're going to walk the feet together. Zip the feet, knees, and thighs together. Arms extend up above your head. And from here, we're going to go into a little bit of a V up. So a little articulation through our spine. Inhale, you're going to lift the arms. Exhale, you peel the head, neck, and shoulders up. Knees are going to come in towards the chest. And the biggest thing when you come to the top of this, right, is keeping the chest lifted. Right, your advanced option, you can extend the legs just straight. Everything's going to lower down one vertebra at a time through that spine. Feet carefully come to the mat. Arms like stand up above the head. So inhale, we're curling up. Two, three, pause on four. Take it down. Two, three, and four. And if it sounds like I'm cueing to the beat of what would be some music playing in the background, I am. So if you want to put some music on, it might make this a bit more motivating. Nice work, you guys. Let's go ahead and just go two more here. Right, so slowing it down just a little bit, really finding the control through your core to peel your spine off the mat, right, and to lower down one vertebra at a time with control. We're gonna go one more like that. Bring it all the way up, pause and hold. From here, option here to extend the right leg, extend the left leg. Hold again, lift through the chest, right? If you want a little bit more intensity, this is probably gonna make me shake a lot. You can reach your arms up above your head, but only if the chest stays lifted, right? Otherwise, hands out. The chest doesn't stay lifted. Bend the knees a little bit. Good. One more big deep breath in. Exhale, sink through the abs. Keep the chest lifted. Two more breaths like that. Inhale. Exhale, anchor through the belly. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, course it through the waistline. Set the feet down. Whew. All right, let's hit some obliques, yeah? Feet planted, hip width apart and parallel. Start with your hands behind your thighs. You're gonna inhale, lengthen up through the spine. Exhale, you're gonna scoop through the belly and round back. So you're trying to kind of create a C shape here with your spine, right? So scoop through the belly. Hands can always stay behind the thighs, especially if you start to feel this in your hip flexors, okay? So we're rounded back, we're scooped up through the belly, the abs are on. You're almost in kind of a tucked position with your hips. From here, we're going to go ahead and release both hands, take them both over to the right, uh-huh, and you're going to take it back, two, up, two, and then you're going to tuck, tuck. So that tuck, it's like a scoop through the belly, and it's a little roll of the tailbone under. So it's back, back, lift up, up, tuck, tuck, back, two, up, two, Tuck, tuck, back, two, up, two, tuck, tuck. Should be feeling that right oblique a little bit? If you're not really feeling the right oblique, twist a little bit more over to the right. Let's go one more here. Take it back, back, up, up, tuck, tuck. Hands to the thigh. Listen, don't lose the position. Don't lose the tension in the abs. This is just a little chance to reset those hip flexors. Inhale here. Exhale, let the shoulders melt. Scoop out through the belly. Beautiful. Both arms extend. Now this time we're just going to twist. Little twist to the right. Option here, take the arms up above the head for a little bit more intensity. Wherever you're at, you need 10. Here's one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hands behind the head, you're gonna roll back to your head, neck and shoulders, knees towards the chest, twist over to the right, bicycles right here, side to side. Little twist, twist. So the thing about your obliques is that they work together. So even though you're gonna feel it more on the right side, your left side is working as well, right? So we're gonna hit both sides together. Big exhale. Option here to modify that leg's going straight up in the air, right? If the legs are too much, all you're feeling is the hips, feet down, keep twisting side to side. So these are just options, right? Options are just that, take them or leave them. Let's go 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, and 10. Ooh. Bring the knees in towards the chest. We're rocking on up. Hands behind the thighs, inhale like that. Exhale, scoop through the belly around back. This time, release the arms, take them over to the left. So we're doing it back, back, lift up, up, tuck, tuck. Take it back, back, up, up, tuck, and tuck. Couple more here on this side. And just because I'm not watching you doesn't mean I'm not paying attention, so keep the form on point. Shoulders back, chest is lifted. If you need a little modification, right? One hand to the thigh is always okay. The other option is to simply work higher. So tuck, tuck, let's go one more. Back, back, up, up, tuck, tuck, hands to the thigh. So this is a reset, right? We're gonna take it out of the hip flexors. We're not gonna lose the tension in the abs. Inhale here, exhale, scoop through the belly, roll the shoulders back. Both arms release, twist as far as you can to the left and give me a little rotation. Little rotation through the waistline. Keep lengthening up through the crown of the head. Option to take the arms overhead for more intensity. Let's go 10 here. Here's one. Use your breath. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it up to your center list. So we're going to do one more thing to finish it off. Okay, create your palms on the mountain. Step your feet back to a high plank position. Lengthen your chest forward towards your fingertips. Inhale here. Exhale. Knit the ribs together. Course it through the waistline. Strong straight legs. We're going to bring the right knee towards the left elbow. Tap that foot back. Left knee towards the right elbow. Tap it back. Now the tendency here is going to be to let those hips start to drift. Okay? So I want you to keep it nice and strong. Think shoulders over wrists. Think about lengthening. The crown of your head or that top knot straight forward. All right, one more each side slow. Listen, we're gonna pick it up for the last 30 seconds right here. Run it out. Quick as you can, keep the shoulders forward, eyes forward on the floor and the mat in front of you. Knees to the chest, listen, we got this. You made it through everything you did to get right here, right now, and you've got 15 seconds, run it out. Whew. Three, three, three. You got it. Eyes for chest forward. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Child's going to sit it back. Whew. Go ahead and let those knees fall wide here. Stretch the arms forward, hips back. Take a couple deep breaths. Big inhale here. Exhale, we're gonna round it up one vertebra at a time. Bring it all the way up to seated. And thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you watched, I hope you love it. If you wanna connect on Instagram, you can find me Top Knot PDX. Whew, that was a good one. Hi, I'm Michelle Duval the creator of Bar Variations, the method, the manual, and the online video library. It is my mission to share with you my bar knowledge and to empower you to find your own creative voice. I'll be taking you through 15 minutes of ballet cardio. I'll be using small weights, but if you don't have them, you don't need them. And if you need to rest, drink water, modify, please do. Here we go. 
We're going to start off by grabbing small waves if you have them. And again, if you don't, you can do everything the same. I'm going to start with my feet in a wide second position and bring my arms up into a first. I'm going to gently bend my knees, cross back, curtsy lunge, curtsy lunge. Just keep alternating sides. One more time each side, and then adding arms down. We're gonna do this for a full minute. Just make sure you know which leg you started on so you can finish your set at the end. Okay, we have 30 more seconds here. Just keep breathing. Make sure your tailbone's going down to the floor. Here we go, we have 15 more seconds. 10 seconds to go. Finish your set one more time each side and bring it back to the middle. Roll your shoulders back, going into some plie, curtsy lunge and tupasse. Down, push up overhead. Two, Three, four, four more times for four. Three, two, lift, hold, over to the other side. Here we go, down and push up. Four more times, four. Three, two, one other side we go up down three two one other side up four three two last one bring it down let's get rid of the weights put them off to the side hands on your hips curtsy lunge jumps crossing to the back little spring off the floor My chest is forward just a little to take some pressure off the knees. You can go as quick or as slow as you'd like. Just remember to breathe. 30 more seconds here. Almost there, 15 more seconds. Try to jump a little higher. <laughs> 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, finish your set. And up, shake it out. Going into some ballet burpees. Keep breathing, here we go. We're gonna jump eight. Go down to the floor, step it back, push up. One, two, two more. Jump it in, lift it up, here we go. One, two, three, four, eight, lower down, step back, push up. Step it in, one last time, eight. Step it back and push up. Step it in. Come all the way up to standing. Roll the shoulders back, grab your weights again. Repeat the whole thing from the top. So starting with your arms up, you're gonna step, curtsy lunge. Use this to regulate your heart rate Maybe catch your breath a little. <laughs> Adding the arms. Turning both legs out and your knees will point over your second toes. You're halfway there.
four seconds. Just kidding, 10. <laughs> Go one more time each side. Bring it up. Shake it out. Catch your breath. Finding a curtsy lunge. Push up. Passe. Squeezing your standing leg as you come up. For four. Three. Two. One. Other side. Eight times. Other side for four. Switch sides for four. Three, two, one. Bring it down. Catch your breath, shake it out, curtsy, lunge, jumps. Here we go. I like to think I can catch my breath in the middle of the air, right? seconds. We're almost there. Do the big push at the end of this workout. Keep it going. 15 seconds. Finish your set. Bring it up. <laughs> Grab water if you need to. We're going to do one more full round. Woo. Grab your weights. Here we go. Lunge it back. Full minute here. your arms out in. Fifteen seconds. Pushing out your set, bring it up, shake it out, curtsy lunge to passe, down, push up eight, seven, three, two, one, little plea in the middle, other side, push up. side for four, up four, switch and four, two, one, up, down, get rid of these, shake it out, Woo. curtsy, lunge, here we go, full minute. There's a stretch in your future, I promise. <laughs> you can tell by my breathing, I love cardio so much. <laughs> Just kidding. Springing off your feet, maybe try to point your toes in the air. You are halfway there.
15 seconds. Just finish your set. Shake it out. Last one here, your ballet burpees. Jumping eight times. Step it back, four push-ups. Step it in, same thing. Eight first position jumps. Step it back, four push-ups. Triceps pointing back to your rib cage. Two more times. Step it back, push-ups. Step it in. Last round. Step it back. Push up for three, two, one. Step it in. Roll up. Shake it out. All right, we're going to come to the floor for a stretch. Sitting down on your bottom, let's start with a butterfly. Take an inhale. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale again, lift up. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, slowing down your breath. All the way up. Extend your left leg out. Flex your foot. I'm going to reach up and over for a side bend. Bend back on your sit bones. Rib cage twist to the ceiling. Trying to reach your top arm longer with each exhale. up, counter stretch, lift again, twist your body to face your leg, bring the arms up overhead and reach forward to stretch, now taking your palms wherever you can, even if it's here, you want to keep the length of your spine before you go forward, well you're not hunching your upper back. breath here and then take it to the other side bring your other leg out opposite arm up reach over to side bend take a couple more breaths here reaching longer with each exhale stretch. Lift up. Turn your body to face your leg and lift both arms overhead. Take a big inhale and then exhale forward. Come on up. Take your knees here. You're going to Pull your left heel back, right leg forward. We're going to start to walk back. If this is too much pressure on your knees, you'd like to take a different quad stretch standing, you may do so. But you start to walk your hands back as far as you can, feeling the stretch in the front of your hip and quad on that leg. Just keep your chest lifted. Try not to collapse into the stretch. Maybe even pretend 
friends are on the beach and the sun is shining down. Pull yourself all the way up. Switch your legs and start to walk your hands back. stretch, crisscross the legs in front, big inhale to lift, exhale to reach forward, stretching your hips. Come all the way up, switch your legs, inhale to lift, exhale forward. Thank you for joining us. Please leave your comments below, follow us on social media, and help us by raising the bar together.